Welcome back, everybody, for some more Bayan Ong 2.0. Uh, last time we had a really nice redux of the Royal Peacock, and now we will be going to everybody's favorite uh, holiday gift exchange, the White Elephant. 1563 AD, year 13 of the reign of Bang Yang, king of Burma. The tiger rules the forest, but he is always hungry. It is the same with me as I look to the Thai kingdoms of the east. I have ruled for 13 years, but how am I the Chakavati if I am only king of Burma? Ayutthaya is the strongest of the Thai kingdoms. Her king, Chakrafat, has defied me for too long. He encourages the rebellion of one of my vassals, the king of Lan Na. Even now, he sends his daughter to marry the ruler of the kingdom of Lan Shang in exchange for an alliance against me. But these schemes alone do not drive me to war. I know that Chakafat has seven white elephants, a symbol of luck and divine favor. Already I hear the murmurs in the court. People with more spirit than sense whisper that if I truly am the Chakravati, why would the Nats have blessed Chakrafat with the elephants? I cannot allow this Thai king, nor the Nats themselves, to defy me. I will send my armies east, but they will not just bring war. I will send Buddhist monks with them to carry the word of my blessed Buddhist rule. Alrighty. And I looked it up, and apparently the White Elephant gift exchange uh, actually does come from Thailand, uh, where the... Uh, apparently, the uh, the king of Thailand would, you know, give a, a white elephant as a, as a gift to people who displeased him, so that they would have to be burdened with, you know, taking care of the elephant. And it was brought into America by the guy who founded Cornell University. So uh, that's what Wikipedia said, and uh, now you guys know. Uh, anyway, place relic in each monastery before the end of the season. Uh, recover Princess uh, Thepkasatri's Thep dowry, defeat the Nats, and convert Prince uh, Ramus Rameswan and King Mikuti. Um, only have a pop limit of 40. Do not destroy any buildings we need. When sword by monks, battle elephants are good. Uh, do not lose a bunch of people to the Nats. And uh, there are looted treasures. So we are in Thailand, and there's the army of Ayutthaya in Sukhothai. And then there's the king of Lan Shang. There's Lan Na. Lan Na is like northern Thailand. Um, and Lan Shang is uh, uh, Lao, the modern country of Lao. Okay, okay. Okay, okay man. Uh, this scenario, it's fine. It's it's also a little weird. There's like a tiger over here. Yeah, it's 55 HP. Oh, I guess there's uh zeros where the oh no 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 run away. Those were the uh, that's where the two kings are. But yeah, really, it's more about just running around in like an A to B style scenario thing. We have recovered the spoils of Bandits. We'll make good use of this treasure. Yeah, you bet we will. So first up is going to be Ayutthaya, which, in case you did not know, is modern day Thailand. Okay. Opa. Opa. Okay. Because at this point, uh, the Khmer Empire is kind of not really a thing anymore. Okay. You have to do this weird thing where you have to drop all the relics. Oh, I don't remember there being a light cab here. 
I do remember those guys. Okay. So essentially what we need to do is we need to go ahead and convert uh, the king of Ayutthaya. Now unfortunately we don't get any monk upgrades and we can't even get any monk upgrades. Which is a little weird for like a scenario that's kind of like centered around monks. You know what I mean? Oh, crap. Alright, uh, the elephant archer unit is going to be the king, dude. Snipe you. Here he is. Has been reminded of the Eightfold Path. You bet he has. His men laid down their spears. So yeah, we get the walls and towers and stuff, I guess. Nope. I don't know why I don't get that tower. Alrighty. Onward and upward. I don't think there's going to be much that's changed with this scenario, if anything. And the scenario was kind of fine as it was. I think there's some crossbowmen over here. Yep. I got the memory. Or something. It's on you. Got to drop the relic off right here. Oh, I wonder if uh, Leiloy is still making an appearance. Or Leilai, one of the two. And Gajamada in the next scenario. With this city, we can train reinforcements. Oh, yay, the random trade cog. Oh, we can actually make ships. I don't remember if we had a dock last time. Anyway, onward and upward we go. I mean, I'm sure all this is the same. Should be a bridge right over here. Yep, there it is. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, I remember the Hill Tribes have like all of the Rise of the Rajas unique units. Well, they have like Arambai, Rattan Archers, and uh, Karambits. No, Ballista Elephants. I mean, you do have a time limit on this scenario, and I think that's just to prevent you from like, you know, taking one tiny fight, healing up your entire army every time, and then moving forward two inches. There's a gnat. Kill the gnat enchantress quickly before she bewitches the men. Done and dusted. Uh, <clears throat> let's keep going. Get a couple of rombi and a vill. Why does he have one melee armor? It's so random. Oh, 
Onward and upward we go. Well, like, see how we don't really need to train anything? Like, even a lot of the upgrades we get don't benefit our units. Oops. Um, how do we get over there? I think maybe there were some aesthetic changes here. I don't remember all these rocks. Did I, like, miss the, the turn off? Uh, no. Okay, so maybe I guess there was a, a bit more of a change, because I remember you being able to, like, turn over here or something. Okay, we got some more random units. Oh, okay, well... Crap. At least all the guy units have post-castle age upgrades. Go get him! Good to see the nine bands of yak hair over here. Yeah, here, here they are. Oh, I lost a relic. Or a, a monk, which for our, our purposes is a relic. Gotta be careful. Hey, it's a white elephant. What do you know? Yeah, it's like this area over here. Oh, Royal Guard. That's supposed to be Lei Lai. And that's Lei Loy. What the heck, man? Why isn't he traveling through time and space? Take the princess away and confiscate the dowry. Yeah. Let's get that gold that we can use for nothing. I think there's uh, some more Gaia units over here, if memory serves. Yep. Let's just speed things up a little bit since we're just going back the way we came. Onward and upward. Oh, it's a knot. Nat. It's a couple of them. Eh, she only has nine attack. It's not too bad for a Scythian wild woman. Let's do a little bit of scouting. Yep. Thingadatta. Wait, isn't that our uh, our son or something? From the the next scenario, the one that you don't need to keep alive. Uh, that's definitely new. All right, I am remembering where the guy Gaia units are. Okay. 
Go drop you off over here. Frickin' Foyga Tower. Alrighty. I don't know if there's anything for you to really do. We're at 39 pop. Out of our maximum 40. Oh, well, rip you. Our monk count is still only at 3. Oh my god, it's not going forward. Alrighty. Well, at least we got another elephant out of that. That's all right. Oh, it's the knots. Nat. Yeah. Right here. And right here. That's right where those Buddha statues are going. Whoa there, my man. Uh, did I get whatever. We still didn't lose a unit there. I mean, a lot of our units are getting a little low in HP, but we're fine. All right, same dealio. We're going to convert the prince guy. Ready? I guess we're gonna get through there just right now. We're just gonna put you guys in no attack stance and go for the YOLO conversion. Should be right here. There we go. Just king is magnanimous in victory. I permit conquered princes to serve me. Very magnanimous. And now we get a bunch of monks. Oh, rip. Okay. So, uh, what you can do is, um, you can, like, build some transport ships and, like, smuggle your way in. Because, uh, like, you can land right here, and then you can get into the NTN that way. 
but uh, as you can tell, we don't have the population space to do that, so we're gonna go in the old-fashioned way. Guns a blazin'. But we have a lot of monks right now, so we can convert the elephants of Lanchang without too much issue. Can't even build fishing ships, can't even fish boom. What am I supposed to do in life? Yova. Yeah, Tanga. Uh, let's see how many conversions we can get here. We got a few. We got lots and lots of monkers. <laughs> Get those two. Random lumber camp. Oh, you, you keep on that that mission. Anyway, there is a castle right here that we need to be careful for, or careful about. But we've got enough elephants and stuff and things. We have all these monkers over here. Now, there is actually uh, the king of Lanshang who's hanging around. They have like a wonder and everything. But we can't convert them. I've tried. Yeah, I wonder what Thingadatta is doing over here. Oh, I don't remember them having rattan archers. Whoops. Alrighty. Oh no, I lost a dude. Get the conversions! Um, do I have the Relic Monk over here still? Yeah. Wait, why are you not getting converted? Whatever. No, don't hit my monk. Get these random water buffalo out of the way, and we should be good to go. Pretty easy scenario all around. My enemies bow before me. Yep, here's King Satan Tiraroth. Although I think he's a horseman now and not a... Uh, like, I think it was a Karambit warrior. All right. Conquered my enemies and made them bow before me. I have purged the land of the gnats, building stupas and monasteries where once the spirits ruled. I am the conqueror of the ten directions. I am master of all between the foothills of Tibet and the waters of Malacca, between the plains of India and the mountain jungle of Vietnam. The kings of Sri Lanka and Portugal send me gifts from across the ocean. The emperors of India and China 
Call me their equal. My life will be written in the legends of three nations for centuries. I am Banyang. I am the League of Shadows, and I am here to fulfill Ra's al Ghul's destiny. Basically what he was saying. Uh, 102 kills, 23 deaths, not half bad. Yeah, I mean, it's like the scenario is all right, but it feels a little out of place in a campaign that's only five scenarios long. Like, this is the entirety of Bayanong as the Chakavati, you know, expanding and conquering and all that stuff. Like, this is it. You spend two scenarios as, like, just uh, a general for King Tabanchweti. And then you spend one scenario consolidating power, one scenario actually expanding your empire, and then as we'll see uh, in the next video, you just uh, are the old tiger and you pass the torch on to Nanda. But speaking of which, the old tiger, Bayanong 5, the big bad boss of all of the AoE2 campaigns, probably the single hardest scenario out there. I hear it's been changed. Um, so we'll have to see what's in store with that one next time. See you guys for that.